Okay, I'd like to talk about using Google Drive to back up schoolwork. Uh, this is an important topic and it's important as a online student that you know how to never lose files and how to properly back up your work so it's safe. So let's get started. Um, <clears throat> Now, if you go into My Computer, I mean, where you're going to want to put your school files is in the My Documents folder. Now, if you go into My Computer, it's not really organized like that. If I go to Documents, you'll see there's a bunch of libraries, things like that. Uh, my hard drive, though, is actually divided into two partitions. One is the normal local drive C. Uh, which has all my system files and everything the operating system needs. But D is all my data. Now you might think of that's a lot of trouble to go to or you might think that's a little useless to do that. But actually the reason that most peop people that are into computers do this is because if I get an infection or something like that, my data files will be safe. It might, you know, my uh, operating system uh, partition might have be infected but my data files would be safe now I could easily recover this uh, by using because I use automated imaging software so I just have to go over and get uh, an image of my C drive pull it back all my data would be fine if I got a really really bad infection so that's something to think about <coughs> we're not going to do that in this class but as you get more sophisticated with computers, uh, something to think about uh, doing on your own computer. Okay, so we're going to put in here school files. Remember, my D drive is my documents uh, folder. Okay, now we're going to put a new folder in here. We'll call this class files. So you'd have a different uh, folder inside your school files uh, for all your classes and, and make these specific you know <coughs> you want this to reflect the name of your class okay so the next thing I need to do is I need to uh, go get a Google account so where do you get that at well sign up for Google account <coughs> let's see so when you go over to Google, um, it, it has a little video walking you through it. Uh, so here, we actually need to go over to, ooh, okay. Since I've already signed up, <laughs> it's hard for me to show you exactly what to do, but you're going to need to put your email and certain uh, certain information here, and it'll be different if you come to, uh, if you type in, sign up for Google account, it'll be different where you'll be able to do it. So, after you get signed up, um, what you need to do is you need to go to Google Drive. Now, if you just signed up, this is going to be empty. Uh, but since I've signed up a while ago, I, mine, and I've been using this, mine has a lot of stuff in it. So, uh, you don't need to install an application to do this. You can just go to the Google Drive interface on the web, and we're going to, next to create, we're going to click Upload, and we're going to select Folder. Now, remember, I just put this in my... Uh, my documents which is on my D drive and it was under school files right here so I'm just going to select that and click OK now you can have this you know running in the background so uh, so it, it won't take very long Okay, so there's the folder. 
now let's say let's say uh, let's say I'm working on an assignment. Okay, so so I'm going to save this file, save as. We'll put it in our uh, our class folder. So we'll go down here to school files. So then put it in class files. So we're going to upload folder. So when you update it, you're going to need to back it up again. So that's what I'm illustrating here. So now we should have in our class files, we should have that uh, let me close that. So we should be able to download this document and check it. Make sure that everything's okay. Yeah, and that's what the file said. So it looks like we're okay there. <coughs> now, let's say you put another let's say you change some things around so let's go to my local computer and uh, you know we'll drag some things I'll drag some folders you know, let's, let's take these files here and drag them to, up to the easier to do it a little closer here. Let's, let's take these and take it up to the school files. Now these aren't going to be in class files, are they? So I'll have to move them again to put them in the right, exact right place. Okay. <coughs> so now since we put a bunch of new stuff in there, we need to back it up again, right? So we go back over here. Make sure you're at the root or, you know, click my drive so everything is there so you don't put it in a folder or something like that because, see, I was already in a folder. Had I not gone back to the my drive directory would have ended up in the folder. <sighs> okay, so that should do it. Okay, now, now you see we have two class files. Now, you know, can you get them confused and things like that? Uh, one thing I'll say is in Windows, you can't put two things with the same name. You can't put two files in the same uh, folder or two folders in the same directory with the same name. You probably know that already. But Google Drive doesn't have that restriction. But, and the reason is, is because there's a different time here, see? Well, that makes it very easy to tell which is the more recent one. And you can, if you have uh, your most recent one with all your most recent data, you can get rid of the prior one. So just click the other ones and get rid of it. Now you have, now I have class files with all the recent changes that I made. So, uh, so needless to say, my, uh, files are backed up properly.